Everybody, it's uh, Christopher Dixieland Farm, and today I'm going to show you something in X-Plane that you can do. Uh, and I'm using my webcam, so and Open Broadcast Studio. This is the first time I've ever used this setup because I didn't want to have to use this camera. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So I live in North Carolina. I would like to fly out of my local airport, but my local airport in X-Plane is boring. And this is where I found out the dirty little secret about X-Plane, that they only make some of the airports and then the rest of the airports are just from available data. So you basically have a grass strip and they'll kind of put a taxiway to, to it or a uh, just a runway, whatever is kind of available data-wise out there, but they won't build any of the actual environment around it. So uh, let's take a look at what that really does look like. So here we are, plane is off, going to use camera mode, and I've got orthographic scenery, that means satellite scenery. So you see there's the strip, there's a runway, and then from here on out is just a picture. If I didn't have ortho um, scenery loaded for my area, I would have nothing. I would just have grass. That, that's, that's about it. So let's go ahead and look at what you can do. So I'm going to now load up the scenery that I built. So looking at my airport, we can see we've got trees, we've got uh, other planes now, we've got uh, signs, we've got an FBO, we've even got uh, a fuel station back here where we've got uh, hangars. We also have more taxiways than we did before. Also, the taxiways are different. They're actually more realistic to the way the airport actually is. And I designed all that. Oh, we've got, uh, got some cars in the background here. We've got uh, the water feature, and then you can see as we get past the airport, the orthographic scenery takes over. But inside the airport is basically all created by me. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, Chris, how'd you do it? Well, I use the World Editor, uh, the right? World Editor Designer. Yeah, it's it's available free at Xplain. You can download it. And uh, let's take a look at the screen real quick here. So here is the airport and all the little different features that I added. So I added the, these planes, I added these hangars, and I used the auto-generated scenery that's already inside X-Plane, nothing special, no extra download packs. And I did that because, um, again, this goes back to that little secret <laughs> about X-Plane, is if you use the X-Plane default stuff, you can then upload it and they will fold it into the program. So a lot of the airports that you fly into have been generated by people just like me. It'll go through a vetting process and then it'll be introduced uh, into the X-Plane community, which is nice. So uh, it becomes pretty addictive too, because it's, it's not too hard to, to create these. Uh, matter of fact, let me switch over to the screen here and let's create one real quick. We're gonna do the exact same one We're gonna do un un untitled one over here. And right now, we are at Twin Lakes Airport, 8A7. And we've got the uh, overlay, uh, the slippy map here. You see we've got ESRI imagery. So that is basically uh, satellite imagery that you can use as a guide to place buildings and we can load in the actual airport air import uh, from airport scenery gateway so these are the airports that are built into x-plane so here's twin lakes we hit next and we can see that uh, nobody's created it webbot means that x-plane is the only people the only thing that generated if we went to a different uh, airport let's say ksvh Statesville Regional, which is a close by airport, and we hit next. We can see that somebody, uh, SS Stockel here, created 
in addition to the automatic generated web bot web bot uh, program so somebody's already created that that airport and you can use that as a basis or it's already been down you know it folded into X plane uh, or you can build upon it you can say hey this guy's work is not good enough or I'd like to customize it I'd like to make this like shrine to me well you can certainly do that but going back to uh, 8A7 we're gonna import it real quick here and you see the only thing it's got is the taxiway and the runway and we can start taking that and modifying it as we need. We can uh, make the taxiway actually fit. Uh, you move stuff around, you know, things like that. I'm not gonna get into specifics, but also then uh, over here, uh, we've got the windsock right here, but we can tell from the satellite imagery and sometimes looking at uh, like Google Maps is, is better. You can see, uh, Over here, we can see the windsock is right there, right from the shadow. So you can then go into WED, and put it in its proper place. So real quick, I'm going to show you just how I, I drop the hanger in. Uh, so if you go to local, uh, like a library, lib, that means it's uh, the laminar X-plane. Airports, uh, common elements, hangers. You can see we've got hangers here. We've got a long row beige and we're going to just drop it in. You can see right here it drops it in and we're dropping in another one by accident. Let's, let's drop one over here. Great. Take the little pointer. And we rotate and move it into position and we just do the best we can. Boom, we got two hangers already. <laughs> so, nothing to it. To add taxiways, you just look, click the taxiway button here. You see we're picking asphalt. Uh, and we're just gonna draw it from here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Hit enter. And we've already got a modeled taxiway. You can tell by mine. Uh, I went ahead and made all of this dirt. Uh, while in real life, we can see that it's kind of dirt plus uh, grass and we've got uh, different type of asphalt uh, here. Uh, I wasn't going to cut all of that out. Uh, I still need to fly around in this thing, so uh, I just made it simple. Uh, you can see also over here on the satellite imagery, we can see that there's a little gas station. So that is what I actually did, was I just added this little gas station to fuel up. And that's all in the library. So you can go in here, fool around, you can add aircraft. I certainly did that. I added uh, a little uh, prop airplane here and dropped them in to make the airport look more alive. That is basically it to uh, World editor designer. It's real simple to use. There's plenty of online guys, plenty of online videos where you can see people start designing and once you start doing it a little bit you get the hang of it and it becomes easy and you, you can start doing curves. Uh, I'm still not great at curves but uh, I'm getting better as I go along and then you start looking for airports that haven't been done yet so that way you can add to the community, give back so it's kind of fun and it's kind of fun also to finally land at an, uh, my local airport and it looks like the actual airport not like just strip in the middle of nothing. So, Nick Land Farm, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.